Hello YouTube, I am Woozy here to talk about one of the most hated cards in the game, yes, the Mortar. It ticks away at your tower, it's super hard to defend against, and it gets straight under your skin. Now, I'm talking about the defensive Mortar though, I use the Mortar as a defense card. Now, one of the most used defense cards in the game is the Cannon, and the Cannon costs 3 Elixir. The Cannon has 742 hit points, compared it to the Mortar for 1 extra Elixir, the Mortar has 1,272 hit points, so the Mortar has way more hit points than the Cannon, only for one extra elixir, so it holds off just that much more. So I would like to give a big shout out to my clan, Zerg Rush, everyone in there is super cool, it's one of the best clans I've ever been in, and everyone in there is like my brother. Uh, I think we're in the top 40 in the world right now, something like that. Alright, so I'm going to get right into replay. So, right right into the replay, I'm facing a guy from China or something, and he's using a Royal Giant deck. And right off the bat, I'm thinking, what do I use? I don't have my Elixir Pump. So I get my Giant ready for a, a small little push off on the left side. So I throw my Giant on the left side, and he's thinking of what he's going to throw. He throws his Royal Giant right off the bat, and I throw my Mortar. And I get my mini P.E.K.K.A ready, and I throw my mini P.E.K.K.A down. Now, the Royal Giant is not going to get one hit on my tower because how much hit points the Mortar has. And the mini P.E.K.K.A just cleans up right after. Now, the mini P.E.K.K.A takes off on the Princess, and that Inferno is just going to shred to my uh, shred to my Giant. Sorry. And uh, I, try to, I try to get in a quick push with my minions, but he throws an Ice Wizard out to counter that. So now, I'm just sitting down. I'm thinking what I should do. I'm not really going to counter it, but then he throws out barbs. I throw the fireball to counter it, and I just let that sit. Now I'm getting my elixir pump ready so I could gain more elixir throughout the battle, and I'm waiting until I hit a high enough elixir so I can defend whatever he throws out next. I throw out my elixir pump. He's getting ready for a quick push on me now, and he's going out with the royal giant on the left side. I throw out my uh, mortar and I get my fire spirits ready for his minions and I take out his minions and I try to get my mini P.E.K.K.A up as soon as I can and I get my mini P.E.K.K.A out and my mini P.E.K.K.A destroys his royal giant and goes for the inferno. Now the inferno was the only thing that he had to counter my giant so that's why I tell him thanks because now he just used his only card he had to counter my giant. So. I get ready for a huge push. I've been gaining all this elixir from my elixir collector, and I throw my giant out on the left side. He throws out a princess, and I fireball my princess because I don't want the princess getting in the way of my minions. So I throw my princess in the back. He throws out his barbs, and here comes my fire spirits right behind him. He throws a fi fireball on my princess, but my princess takes out the what's left of the barbs. He throws out his ice wizard, and I have my mini horde. Mini Pekka coming out. My Mini Pekka comes up to the Ice Wizard, takes two swings, and goes straight for the tower. Now all he can do is defend with the Princess. That's the only option. Now while he's trying to defend that way, I come in with the second push on the right side. I have a Mini Pekka, Royal Giant, Princess, Fire Spirit push. And my Fire Spirits take out the what's left of the Inferno, and I throw out my minions. He throws out the Royal Giant at the same time as my Royal Giant and my minions. I didn't even take out the Royal Giant and like, get the free stuff. And uh, that guy quit the game early because he did a lot of bad plays in that game. Especially with the Inferno. The Inferno was the major play he did that was wrong. He should have waited for my uh, Giant instead of throwing it on my Mini P.E.K.K.A. But that was still a good game. Now, this next replay is against Jack from UK Clash. He's using a... Poison Golem. I really don't like the Poison Golem deck. I hate going against the Poison Golem deck. It's one of the worst decks to go against because they could be really dirty sometimes. So right off the bat, he throws out his Golem. I throw out my Mortar for defense. And I get my Elixir Pump out so I can get some Elixir advantage in the later on in the game. And he throws out three spear goblins, my mortar takes out two of his spear goblins, and right here he throws a musketeer. My mortar hits the musketeer and all I have to do is fireball and the musketeer is gone. Now I throw a mini P.E.K.K.A and this mini P.E.K.K.A is such a such a survivor because it goes through, it takes the boom, kick back, and it's still alive. And it's still alive for my next push. It literally has like less than a 
Spear Goblin, Spear to die. Now I have this huge push on him, and he throws out barbs, and my princess takes one more swing and takes out his barbs. But right here he throws a Valkyrie because he had no other choice. He had to do something quick or I was going to take out that tower. He throws out Spear Goblins in the front, and I throw out my Defensive Mortar right here. And my Defensive Mortar has so much hit points, it's just going to whack at the Valkyrie, and the Valkyrie is going to go up to it take my mortar out but then that gives me another opportunity to throw an elixir pump out and get more elixir advantage on him right here I'm laughing because I know I practically have the game I have the elixir game on him and he throws a golem on the right side I throw my giant on the left side so now he's trying to rush this side I'm gonna go for this side because I have confidence I'll take out that right tower that only has 908 I see that he threw, threw out his musketeer in the back. I take advantage and throw. I take advantage and throw my minions right in the front, so his poison wouldn't be able to get me and the tower. But he threw it on the tower, and that was a huge mistake by him because my minions still get out of that poison stuff. I have a huge rush coming from both sides now. I took out his left tower. And here comes my mini pick on the right side. Some fire spirits and it takes out his right tower and right here he gives up he calls the game i say good game i give him a little laughing face because he quit the game but it was a good game jack okay now let's go on some live battles Okay, now we're going against a guy named Gua, or G Gua, I want to say, from AMZ. So I'm going to start out by throwing my elixir collector, build up some elixir, wait and see what he's going to throw after that. He throws out a princess, and the mortar actually takes one swing and kills the level one princess. So I throw my mortar in the back, get my mortar prepared, and he throws out. Oh, and he here he comes with a royal giant. I throw my mini peck out. He got a royal, the classic royal giant peck. And my mini peck is going to thrash through his royal giant, take the hits of the fire spirits, and take out his princess. Now, right here, I'm going to throw out my giant on the left side. And I'm going to let the fire spirits go down the line. It could take whatever it wants from that side of the tower. I'm going to just do a big rush and distract him from that side. So here I go. And I feel comfortable enough that I can throw another elixir pump out. So I throw another elixir pump out because I have the advantage in the elixir game. He's gonna throw his barbs in the back. Here comes some fire. Here comes a fireball on his barbs, and it's gonna thrash his barbs. And his barbs are gonna do a great job of trying to get my giant down. It's gonna take my giant down. But now I don't have to worry about that side because all of his stuff is weak. So now I'm gonna come over here. I've gained enough elixir that I can do a huge rush on him. So here comes a giant, a mini Pekka, a princess, and here comes some fire spirits to top it off. Now I'm coming down the line hugely, and he knows it. My giant's gonna ignore the cannon while my mini Pekka takes off on it. Now my giant's gonna sit on the cannon. I'm gonna get that fireball in off his princess and his factory. Ooh. And now he has three minions coming in. I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to give another elixir pump down and just sit. Just sit on all this elixir. This guy is level 10. I'm a level 9. He does have a big troop advantage on me. I'm going to throw my giant. My giant is a really good tank, especially taking... Ooh, there's the royal giant. I'm going to throw the mortar out. And here comes my mini pecker right behind it. And I'm going to try to fireball the princess in the... Uh, I didn't get the princess in the... Well, that's good. I got my giant coming in. And I'm gonna get a princess right behind it to take out his princess. But he throws a cannon out. That was a good cannon. I'm gonna get my mortar ready. He's really trying to play hard defense on this side right now. My mortar's gonna take one swing to that princess and one swing to that princess. And it's gonna annihilate them. Both princesses. Now I'm gonna throw out my giant. He's gonna throw out his little giant. And I'm gonna come over with my mini Pekka. He's gonna throw out his wizard. I'm Throw a fireball uh, he's gonna get the tower down pretty low, but I'm gonna come in with this huge rush. He's not gonna be able to do anything with this rush. Here comes another giant behind there, and my fire spirit just demolishes minions. Two hits, and that was good game. G Law, that was a really good game. He's giving me a mad face, and we give him a happy face and say good game. Okay, 
Now I'm going in with my last lab attack for you guys. Okay, so starting off, I have my Elixir Collector, and that's always the best card to start off with this deck, because I really like to get Elixir, pump up, and just sit back for a bit. <laughs> he's going to throw his Princess off. I'm going to get my Mortar ready to see what he's going to throw next. The Mortar is so good, and there's a Royal Giant again. What's up with all these Royal Giant decks? I don't even have my... I haven't even cycled back to my mini pack yet. That's bad. I'm going to have to throw minions out. He's going to throw... Oh, he's going to throw... A, He's gonna throw a miner on the back of me. I'm sorry, I'm speechless right now. I'm gonna throw my fire spirits on the outside, get the miner, and I'm gonna have to throw a mini tech on that princess because I cannot afford to take any more hits on that tower. He's gonna have to do something to counter that. Ooh, and he had to throw a fireball on that mini Pekka. So right there, he's losing elixir. I have a pump out and I'm confident that I have more elixir than him right now, so I'm going to throw out one more elixir pump and get ready for a huge rush on him. I'm just sitting on elixir and waiting for what he's going to do. He's going to throw a princess out and I hate that annoying princess. I'm just going to fireball that annoying princess. And I know here comes the royal giant. I'm going to get my fire spirits ready for his minions and get my mini back. And he's not even going to be able to touch my tower this time. I'm going to get my... And he has Zappy. He has Sparky right out. He has Sparky coming out right now. It's going to demolish my mini pack. I'm not going to be able to do anything against it. I'm waiting to see what he's going to throw around the Sparky. And it's a minor. Ooh. Can the fireball get it? Oh, the fireball did not get to it. No. His Sparky's going to come down my hall and destroy. No. And a Zap. No. Man. Okay, all I, all I have to focus on is I have more elixir, so now I have to do a bigger push back on it. So I'm going to come out, giant in the back. See what he's going to throw. He's going to throw his royal giant right there. Here comes a mortar. Here comes a mini pecker right there. And I'm just going to let that mini pecker sit. He's going to throw exactly on the wrong side. I believe that was the wrong side that you threw it on. Because now I have this giant coming up right here. All he has is zap to counter my... Uh, spirit of, ooh, he has a, when did he get a, I did not, I did not notice he had a Inferno Tower, that's going to be super bad for us guys. Okay, so I throw my giant, I need to take that, those hit points off of my, my mini Pekka. I'm going to have to do something here, he's going to throw a miner right here, it's really going to do me, it's going to do me bad, I can't do anything. And I guess that's good game. Good game, Ryan. You did really well. That spark was really open. But I guess you win some, you lose some. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you later. Peace.